Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets just after 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York on Thursday, third day of September. We're taking a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It has closed, closed up nominally higher, up about 23 points on the day, but 0.14% higher. The close itself, 374, 16,374. But when you consider the high of the day, and we can see that on this daily chart, I'll blow it up in a second, but when you consider the high of the day, it was 16,550. So the open and the close were very, very similar, but we did see this market trade to a dramatic high only to give it back. And you can see that on this particular candle here, we've got that pure doji. So after yesterday's nice close, we had a couple of days where the market came in lower. It is, without a question of a doubt, all about the jobs report coming out tomorrow. Now, when we look at NASDAQ, NASDAQ did close lower. And then when we look at the S&P, this being the mini S&P, that closed in essence unchanged to slightly higher on the day. We're looking at the futures right now, which is down about 50. Uh, the S&P market itself did close a little bit higher. So you're seeing a little bit of after market activity. Now, when we take a look at the dollar, dollar today is up. It's up about a half a percent at 96.34. And there's no doubt about it. When we talk about levels of support and resistance, let me move this over a little bit. We can absolutely talk about the level of support that used to be there, and that was roughly at around 93 right in here, and I looked at that as that 38% retracement level, and of course, this retracement is of this entire move up here. And what we're now getting is a clustering right around 95.34, and that is our 21 to 23 percent retracement level and this is to me a critical level that the market definitely definitely needs to hold now one of the markets that we've been following we're not in any active trades but we are looking to implement some sort of a trade is crude oil and crude oil has had one of the most resilient uh really turnarounds that i have seen in any market and when you take a look at i'll go ahead and compress this a little bit but when you take a look at the fact that this market, after falling out of bed, it really had this bench line mark at around 60 before falling not only to a double bottom, but below those recent lows that we had. This is 40, this being about 32 here. So we hadn't seen that level in terms of crude oil in quite some time. Now, the one thing that we can make of it today is it traded up to about 48, a little bit over, before finding some pretty dramatic resistance. It's still higher on the day. Again, this is a daily chart in standard candlestick format. Higher on the day, but well, well off of the lows. When you consider the highs and lows, let's go ahead and move this over a little bit. But that the market traded as high as 48.42, as low as 45.65 in the market market sitting at 46.72. So the real question is, is have we found some sort of key reversal in the market? Have we really seen some sort of dramatic turnaround? Or are we looking at a market that is definitely going to begin to move higher? This is our weekly chart. And when we look at our weekly chart, we can see that without a question of a doubt, we came down to these levels again, this, this 32. And to match that 32, we've really got to come back in time to about 2009, because that's the last time we genuinely saw the market trade at these levels. That's right in here. I'll move this across, and you'll see we didn't really touch on that area. And my sense is that because of the fundamentals at play and the fundamentals really haven't changed that much in crude oil in terms of the supply demand scenario labor day weekend begins of course summer ends and that historically historically has been a point in time when uh oil utilization goes down at least until the winter and then they'll prep up for heating oil but in terms of gasoline and conversion to that utilization typically this is going to be the slower time of the year so what, are, what can we expect with crude oil? My sense is that 
We should see this market. If it found resistance at 48, I'm looking at 50 really as a level at which we should see some real resistance come into the market. There are a lot of pundits out there that truly believe that we could see this market move back to the 60s. I would need more evidence than the evidence we have right now to support that. And until that fact, my sense is that we want to come in and look at weakness after a rally as a point to short this particular market. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye bye.